Hi guys, in today's video on Teki Anshi, we are going to discuss about various types of legends in a Tableau dashboard. We will also learn to be creative and build 5 stunning legend views which can elevate the aesthetics of your dashboard. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. A legend is a tool that helps to explain a graph. It helps the user to understand the charts on the dashboard in a better way. Legends have been by far the most less valued views on a dashboard. We mostly use the default legends, but minor modification to a legend can really help the user in understanding the visual simply and clearly. There are basically three types of legends. The first one is a color legend. This tells you why two things that look alike are colored differently. It helps the user to understand the purpose of color on the dashboard. The color legend can either be categorical or quantitative. Shape legend. This legend helps you to understand the meaning of different shapes on a dashboard. The shape legend can only represent categorical data, that is, discrete categories, such as products or regions. Finally, the size legend. This helps the user to understand what the size of the object on a visual denote. It helps to distinguish something that is big versus something that is small. The size legend can either be categorical or quantitative. Color legends can be further subdivided into dimension and measure color legends. When a dimension is used on a color shelf, generating different colors to identify different dimension values, that's called a dimension legend. However, when you use a continuous measure value onto your color shelf, that is a measure legend. Based on the value of the measure, a sequential or a diverging color is assigned to the dimension. This helps in understanding the range of values using the colors. For the purpose of this video, we will be deep diving into the dimension legend and discuss 5 unique and different ways in which you can build your dashboard. But before we get into that, let's see how you can enable a default legend on Tableau dashboard. I hope you guys remember this dashboard that we built as a transformation to the sample superstore data. If not, I will link it over here for you to have a look at it. Now to enable a default legend, you can go into the sheet, click on legends and select the legend that you want to have on your dashboard. And this is how a normal legend in Tableau would look like. However, you cannot adjust the shape or the size of that legend and you need to use as in how it is. So there is no option for you to make any adjustments to it. So the first one that we are going to start ahead with is in which we will be able to build a circular and a square dimension. Let's pull the region onto the row shelf and then onto the text. Now you can go ahead and hide the show header. Make sure that you fit it properly and remove any gradients or colors on the dashboard, any row dividers as well. Next, pull the regions onto the color shelf and then go to the text and make the center line. You can make it big so that it's nice and easy to look at. You can simply pull up this sheet that we just created and use this text also as a legend. But for this one, I'm going to make some shapes just like the default legend to make sure that we are able to adjust the size of these shapes and make this legend a little bit more meaningful. For that, we'll go ahead and pick the circles. Then in the column, type min of zero and align the text to the right side. You can hide any other things and you can also match the marks color. With that, 
this is how your default legend would now look like. Compare it with that, this looks much better. You can also change the shape to a square, which can look something like this. So now you have a square that's bigger and you can also have a bigger font that also matches to the legend color. For the next one, we will use the regions themselves as legend. For this, we will pull the regions onto the column shelf. Then we'll also pull this to the color shelf and to the label shelf. Next, let's make the marks card to a map. This includes a map over here as a default. Let's align the label to the bottom so that the map is clearly visible. You can hide any additional headers and any extra lines, whichever are not required. If I pull this particular one onto the dashboard, this is how it looks like. Everything which is a central, east, south or west has its own color with a map that's assigned to it as well. You can also use the color of the mark as the color of the font. With this, this is how your region legend would look like. For the next one, we will create a matrix like legend. For this, let's go ahead and duplicate our existing sheet. Next, pull the region onto the row shelf. From maps, change the marks card to square. In the label, adjust the label into the center. Now, you can also make the headings a little bit bolder. When I pull this onto my dashboard, this doesn't really fit well, right? A square like legend over here needs a lot of space. I can put this as a view on the dashboard, but it still needs a lot of space and doesn't really look like a view. So to fix that, we will be creating two calculations, which I've already done and created over here. One is the row, which you can create something like this. It will assign east and central onto row one and the others to row zero. And similarly, you can create one for column where east and south gets the value as one. Now pull these respective fields onto the column and the row shelf and remove the region from the row shelf. Now we have like a square or a matrix that's created, which so looks something like this. When we look this on a dashboard, this is how it would look like. This really looks much better and more neat and clean. On the next one, we will be creating a tile legend. For this, let's go ahead and add a new sheet. Next, pull the region onto the rows as well as column shelf. On the row shelf, convert this to a measure, count distinctive values and also pull it to colors. Now edit the axis and change it from zero to one. This would ensure all of them have the same height. Next, you can pull the regions onto the labels and make sure that they are vertically aligned on the dashboard. Once this is done, you can also increase the size and make this a little bit bold as well. When you pull this onto your dashboard, this is how it's going to look like. Now, if you see, there is still some gap between these tile legends. You can leave it as it is, or you can also increase the size of this, which way you will not have any white space in between these legends. And it looks like tiles that are close and nicely arranged next to each other. You can also arrange them horizontally and uh, pull them as well onto your dashboard. This is how both of them would look like. I prefer the one which is vertical rather than the one that's horizontal. It's your choice as to whatever you want to use. The last and the final one is the most simplest to build, but it really helps to convey the story to the users where we are simply going to use the text as a legend. For this, we will just pull out from the rows and columns everything out and this is how it looks like. You can adjust the size of it and simply pull this onto your dashboard and your dashboard would convey what each of the colors represent in very simple and easy to understand way. So I hope 
you guys are able to learn these five different ways of how you can add aesthetical views to your legends on the dashboard some of these can also be used as visuals on dashboard so it's all up to you how do you want to uh, leverage them as well finally don't forget one thing every time you have these legends on your dashboard make sure that you disable filtering capability on these views on the dashboard basically when you are doing any cross filtering no actions would be applied onto this sheet this way the legend stays as it is in intact and nothing affects it when you are interacting with the dashboard i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you learned something from it let me know if you want to see a part 2 of this particular video wherein we discuss five more different ways of how you can build beautiful legends if that's a yes don't forget to comment in the comment section below and we'll see you on the next one take care bye bye